Hello friends, welcome to our show. A lot of people are suffering from various health problems and one of them is varicose vein. Let me introduce to you Dr. Pradeep Mule, Senior Consultant Interventional Radiologist practicing in New Delhi, India. Welcome to the show Dr. Mule. So uh, we can see a lot of people are having problem in their legs. Uh, normally they are diagnosed with varicose veins. So I would like to know what are varicose veins? Uh, varicose veins are uh, a superficial dilated veins. Okay. In beginning, like you see, the like some blue vein, tortuous vein, mm. zigzag like uh, kind of the shape, right? So these are the varicose veins. Mm. These varicose veins are connected from the ankle to the groin area. Okay. And this continue as a like uh, up to the heart also. Mm. So whatever the blood flow in this one, right? Because of the venous blood, this goes from the leg to the toward the heart. So these are the dilated vein, tortuous vein, these are the varicose veins. Okay, so generally they are connected from the whole leg to the groin area. Okay. And uh, talking about but what generally happens to varicose vein? Uh, in majority of the patient those suffering from the varicose vein, mm -hmm. in beginning actually they don't have any problems. But once the time goes, right, so because of the long standing, Okay. Long working hours, mm -hmm. and when they are the like a suppose a gym trainer or something, a lot of people they have the like a long standing kind of the job like a policeman, nurses, doctors. Now the people, now the young people they work in the mall and other things also, right? Mm -hmm. So once this progress with the time and the, your long standing duration increases, so this vein become a little nuisance. Okay. This vein become a little more prominent, more blue. And after some time, like uh, when you stand for a one hour, two hour, so they start giving you some problem, like a pain comes, diffuse kind of the pain comes, boring kind of the pain comes. Okay. So these are the like the comes in the very close. Basically, these are because of the uh, general excess of blood flow in these veins. Uh, normally, in very close veins, so many walls are there. Okay. And this wall having the function to take the blood from the down to the toward the heart. Okay. But by any reason, by these are the like problems, right? So if any wall that get damaged, right? So this blood is not going up. Okay. Is all the blood is pulling down into the leg. That's why this produces the pain, heaviness in the legs. What are the symptoms of varicose vein? In majority of the varicose vein, they don't have any kind of the symptoms. But if this progress little further, more and long duration standing and other things, right? So they start getting the pain. Okay pain, sometimes diffuse pain, some people they say no I don't have the pain but I have the heaviness in the leg mm. and if this continue further more also so they may start getting some swelling also. Mm -hmm. These all the pain, heaviness and the swelling not much in the early morning. When they start doing the, their work and other things like by late evening or before the sleeping this become worse. Okay. And later on if this progress further more also so they may develop sometimes there's some pigmentation, color changes in their skin. These color changes and pigmentation particularly come from the around the ankle and the lower leg. Mm -hmm. And these spots become a little more darker, more darker, more darker also. Okay. 20 to 30 percent of the people those suffering from the varicose vein, mm. they say that now they have a lot of itching and other things also. In the legs and only. Yeah, in the, in the legs only. Mm -hmm. And if they have the itching and other things, right, the pigmented area over that is skin is the dead, mm. so they may peel off and mm. they may sometimes develop the small non-healing ulcer kind of things also. Okay. So these are like the common symptoms in varicose veins. Okay. So that then that may look very unpleasant to look. Yeah, unpleasant. Okay. And cosmetically is the total nuisance actually, right? Yes. When you see the your all body structure and the, this thing is absolutely fine, your skin texture and other things, when you see the leg then it looks very really bad. Yes. Right? So yes. that's your nuisance that's is there. That attacks you emotionally as well. Yes. Okay. So, how can varicose vein uh, be diagnosed? Uh, for diagnosis of varicose vein, those suffering from the varicose vein, most of the people they know that this is the varicose vein because it is very easily visible. Mm. Right? Dilated, tortuous veins we are seeing in the leg, right? Mm -hmm. So, most of them they know that I have the, this problem. Mm -hmm. Right? And when you wanted to further more some more uh, evaluation, mm. what the inside exactly the going on in your leg, right? So we need the ultrasound color Doppler. Okay. This ultrasound color Doppler that tell us the, what the direction of the blood flow. Normally the direction of the blood flow in the leg, in the venous system is from the down toward the heart. Mm -hmm. But when you do the ultrasonography or a color Doppler or you do the mapping at the same time, mm -hmm. so you see the reversal of the flow is there. 
so that upward to downward upward to downward because the wall is damaged already okay. right? so the blood is not going mm-hmm. it's pulling down mm-hmm. so that's a reversal you can see that the okay. another vein is there the deeper system deep vein right sometimes those having the very close vein they may get some small clot or something on a deep vein system so that also you can evaluate and diagnose really well by the ultrasonography okay so what are the other non surgical treatments you offer other non surgical treatment is a long list right the being like intervention vascular intervention radiology mm. all over the world when you see that there is so many number of the diseases are there mm-hmm. so today just i wanted to tell you about the what the common type of the non surgical treatment normally that general public also knows about that mm-hmm. like a uterine fibroid adenomyosis pelvic congestion syndrome mm-hmm. block telephone tube mm-hmm. and uh, varicose veins what we talked about that right mm-hmm. now and the uh, back pain because of the disc herniation in this we do the ozone therapy mm-hmm. and nerve blocks kind mm-hmm. of things mm-hmm. and even the untreated liver tumors okay. that also can be done by the similar kind of the technique right the radio frequency ablation mm-hmm. and in man the large prostate and the varicocele mm-hmm. varicocele is the condition you know that like the tangled vessels comes in this program yes, that yes. normally happen to the younger age mm-hmm. so people they don't like to go for a surgery right so the embolization technique is the one of the best technique for them today okay so there is wide number of non surgical yes. treatments you are offering that's very good and uh, thanks for sharing your information on this uh, very close vein i hope this will uh, impart knowledge to people who are suffering from leg pain and they'll diagnose Uh, that either uh, they are suffering from varicose vein or not and get a non surgical treatment for sure thank you for coming dr muller thank you